always with you, dude. Oh. Wow, hold on. That was like unfocused as fuck. That goes into the clouds. Cool. That was cool. Yeah, it was. Now, as you, some of you know, I'd usually come down and say hi to all of you. They tell me there's a storm coming in. Is that right? Is still is that still the deal? That's the truth. Now, don't make a lie. Telling them this was the calm before the storm. ABC Cecilia Vega asking the White House today, what did he mean? In the White House state dining room, this is the image President Trump summoned reporters to see. The president smiling, surrounded by his top military leaders and their spouses. Then came the unsolicited cryptic comment. You guys know what this represents? Well, what storm, Mr. We President? This we tried again. Mr. President, what did you mean by calm before the storm yesterday? What did you mean by that? Thank you very much. After a wink and a pause, you'll find out. The All right. God save the Queen, man. And we also want to mention that the flu buzz coming out of the president's remarks in Connecticut within the last hour. He was wrapping up his speech and he seemed to really puzzle everybody. He said, God save the Queen at the very end, and everybody's asking what that was about. But <laughs> First of all, I want to say, Alhamdulillah, God gave me everything. Welcome back to the coolest channel on YouTube, man. We got a crazy lineup for y'all here today. What's even crazier, man, look, your boy has been getting stalked again. You know what I'm saying? And I know who the person is, man, taking action. You know, don't be having people out here playing with your name and doing weird stuff to you, man. Protect you and your families at all costs, people. Like, that's very important, you know? But look, man, hopefully y'all been doing good. Just know, man, we're going through this thing called life together. We can always bounce back and do a lot better, man. So look, just know I'm a real person, bro, and I go through stuff just like everybody else, and it's wild. But look, man, hey, don't let nobody play with your name and try to intimidate you and, 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 and try to do things to you to bring you out of your character, you know? Uh, but look, man, let's hop into this video, but let's get it. Those of you, oh. man. Wow, hold on. That was like unfocused. This front that goes into the clouds. Cool. That was cool. Yeah, it was. It looked like it went like through a portal or something. Right next to the moon. Right next to it. Yeah, it's rolled. Roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> beans, beans, Thomas, beans. A bit. Beans, boss. Now you know I'm gonna post this on Facebook. And you notice, yo, that's not from China, so that's not the China fake sun. So which sun is it? What sun is it? Uh, is the one we've been talking about on this channel? Yeah, let me know in the comments down below, people. <laughs> hmm. This is where I'm about to put. <laughs> dude yeah it's there dude it's there fucking a dog it's there See? baby look at this shit it's fucking there oh my goodness <laughs> oh my god wow and this is being recorded just with this by the boom by the bing Bring him back up. There it is, dude. <laughs> oh my God, it's there. For real. Shit. Yeah. Non-believers. Yeah, dude. Uh, wake up, dude. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, it's there. Alrighty. Let's do this. So that dot you see right there, that's called a lens flare. 
it moves, mm -hmm. right? It moves because it's a lens flare from the camera, from the sun bouncing off the lens. It moves, right? Okay. Let's do this. That does not move. Even when I move my camera inside, it doesn't move. See? See, you can see that lens flare right there. Why is there something there by the sun that we can't see? What is it? What is it? Suspicious. There's also something right near the sun, too. See? One there. One there. Not lens flare because it does not move. And look, and this is stuff, look, this is stuff. Y'all let me know down below. If or when you go try this type of stuff, are you seeing the same things? And I would, I would show y'all too. I'm gonna have a video when I show y'all. I'm working on it right now. Show y'all to compare what everybody else has been seeing as well. You know, we're just trying to get to the bottom of it. Are we tripping or not? But we, we, we will figure it out, right? Can somebody explain this to me? This is the second time now. This is with the sun that is showing something double behind it. Like, is it the quality of my camera or? Because look, even from far away, you still see it on top. I don't get it. But oh! <laughs> oh! Tipo, es que debe ser un metal grande o un espejo, no sé por qué. No, porque sería filete en negro. Porque para que rebote de esa forma, claro, ¿cachai? Eso no es una linterna, ya, ya cachamos que no es una linterna. El, re, el rebote. ¿Cachai? Yo alumbro para allá. Oh, 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 hey, wouldn't it be crazy if everything that we see on the outside is a projection of us? I'm just saying, but look, let's keep going, y'all. Thank you. Now, as you, some of you know, I'd usually come down and say hi to all of you. They tell me there's a storm coming in. Is that right? Is still is that still the deal? That's the truth. Now, don't make a lie. Telling them this was the calm before the storm. ABC Cecilia Vega asking the White House today, what did he mean? In the White House state dining room, this is the image President Trump summoned reporters to see. The president smiling, surrounded by his top military leaders and their spouses. Then came the unsolicited cryptic comment. You guys know what this represents? Well, the What's the storm? They tell me there's a storm coming in. Is that right? Is still is that still the deal? What storm, Mr. President? And today in the Oval Office, we tried again. Mr. President, what did you mean by calm before the storm yesterday? What did you mean by that? Thank you very much. After a wink and a pause, you'll find out. All right. God save the Queen, man. Hour. He was wrapping up his speech and he secretly puzzled everybody. He said, God save the queen at the very end. And everybody's asking what that was about, but we just don't know yet. Neil. 
He said, God save the queen. Was it in response? At the very end, it, it was, we we're still trying to figure it out. Nobody's really sure. Of the 115th Congress, the chair declares the joint session dissolved. God save the Queen. Y'all want to talk about it? We're going we're gonna to talk about that at the end of the video. <laughs> save the Queen? What do you mean? Save the Queen. Everybody got that same question, right? Then shock the world once again, Joe. Which one, whichever one they got you performing? It's crazy. Look at this. I just spoke to this guy. He's telling me they're getting ready, getting ready for some serious power outages, possibly EMP blast. I said that to him. He goes, anything's possible these days. But they're getting ready for a huge storm that's rolling up in here. He said they've been out here all night. And they're just waiting. They got trucks set up on every street now. So, yep, they know they know something's coming. Ground. Yep. Their shit is underground. Their their um their server. Look, they're even over here. This is Verizon right here. He just said that they're getting ready. That was the electric company over there. I don't know what they're getting ready for, but they're getting ready for something big. A quote owns anyone of EMP, maybe you know, we're going through a solar uh X solar flare like now, but is that what they can be anticipating? The EMP significance in the media owns so at, at a certain level of media, there is this kind of corruption. I will say something this RICO action that we're heading up civilian, if that can be further proven then we would be able to roll up these corrupt media entities into the RICO. They would be liable as uh, co-conspirators in criminal activities. But so, by the way, so with the tech platforms, what do I mean? So someone who is an influencer, had half a million you know, followers, was trying to stream the National Press Club event. TikTok put up a, a warning, took the whole broadcast down, and said, this is misinformation, and blocked it. Now, I've heard that's happened on a number of people's channels because they were trying to crunch down the truth about this coming out, particularly these unconstitutional governmental programs that are involved in atrocities and war crimes. So interestingly, you then have to ask the question, what's the culpability and liability under RICO of these uh, tech platforms? Who is ordering them to do that and under what algorithm? Is there corruption? Is there, are there inducements? Have they been paid to do it? I think all of this is subject to our investigation. You know, it's interesting because, you know, Elon Musk, after he bought Twitter, he found out that the FBI was, you know, talking to Twitter in regards to and some pain. Of, and pain. This is a concerning. And now the UFO topic on these major tech platforms have kind of suppressed kind of the everyday word of UFO. And the only thing that comes up is CNN and Fox. There's nothing else that is in the searchable algorithm and it seems so yep. controlled why is ufo such a you know suppressed thing it's before because, that it was wide open look the, 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 let's call it the most powerful people in the world to quote from the letter from the head of the arlington institute when he was setting up my meeting with the ci director will do everything in their power to stop what we're doing quote unquote it's in the letter read it and so i say yes of course that's the case this is the biggest secret in the history of the world and certainly of a very powerful industrial and financial interest. So this information coming out is completely a game changer because all of a sudden what happens if every person in the world have zero point free energy that we talk about in the lost century and how to reclaim it? Well, all the oil, petrodollar, banking, et cetera, has to get changed over. And it means that the whole planet would be liberated, the environment would be pristine, poverty would vanish in a generation, certainly with well within my children's lifetimes. But you, you would have people who are sitting on hundreds of trillions of dollars in capital assets and commodities that that would all go away. So this is a, when you start talking about that kind of money and power that goes with it, 
that's where you get corruption. This is the whole point of a racketeer influence corrupt organization pursuit because it is a corrupt organization. Yeah, look, even like if something like that is real, that would either that that that'd be blue beam right there. You feel me? Like that's just my my opinion. Y'all that's been around for a while know what blue beam is. But look it up. Somebody's camera on the outside or something. And you wouldn't know what's crazy about this is like that's that's why I bet not ever see that in my backyard. But you know what I'm saying? A butt naked ass alien in my backyard. We ain't doing that. But at the same time, you know, they they I ain't saying that it's real because I haven't had any proof of that. I gotta see stuff like that myself, right? But I'm I'm one of those people. But and experience things like before I start to oh, that's real, you know, some people. But um, like the people, like the UFO in Vegas that crashed in their backyard, whatever, and the way they described it and stuff, like I got a lot of mixed feelings about that. Like, why won't you just pull out your phone and record, you know, like right off back and we, we get this, you know? But I don't know, I got a lot of questions. What about y'all? Oh shit, I got a UFO. No way. What are you doing? You just came flying over. Why are you hovering? Ooh, what is that? All right, I want to be the shaky camera guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Who are you? It's just sitting there. Oh, oh, oh. Up oh, there it goes. What is this thing? Oh, there's another. Uh, there's another one. Faster. It fades out. I want to be grainy. What the hell is happening? The other one's taking off. What is this? This is every night, y'all. Y'all gotta understand that out here in these areas, that's this every night. Oh, oh this, you see the green one still? Oh, I'm in the back there. What the fuck? Even in, it's been happening even in the daytime now. Do you see the clear edge? Oh, yeah, right there. You're looking at it, dude. That's like, that's like something clear. I told you I saw something come up from there. <laughs> it's moving. You said it's moving, dude. Something's up there. What is that? It is moving. It's mo it's slowly moving this way, slowly. I saw. This. Over here. Oh, come on. These cameras be failing us. I get it. The Anunnaki. That's the name of the beings that, according to the ancient text, came from heaven to earth. In the, in, in the Egyptian culture, they call them the Naturu. And they said they came to earth and turned mud into a kingdom. In the Bible, they call them the Anak. They have these names in all different cultures. They all show up around the same time in every culture. And I started going, I started finding more instances, more instances of them in every culture I looked into around the same time period. And I go, these people really came here at some point in the distant past. It seems to be now around 450,000 years ago they arrived. And about 200,000 years ago, according to the text, not me, they started genetically tinkering with human beings, saying they were adding their essence to them to get us to do the labor for them. So around 200,000 years ago, these beings had creating this mating farm, this mating laboratory called Eden. And, and Lil was known as the Lord. He was known as Satan, the Lord of Eden. Satan, the Lord of Eden. Satan. You wonder where that came from? 
Yeah, he's Satan. The snake that was in the in the garden was his brother, Enki. Enki came with the knowledge to to Adam and Eve and told them that they were they were stronger and bigger and brighter, and that when he did the genetic tinkering, that he put a little extra in them that one day in the future they would be able to tap back into it and they themselves could rise higher than the Anunnaki. And his brother found out about this and started calling him the devil. And that information is in the myth of Adapa, which is another incredible ancient text. Uh, two part question. The first one being, is there no hostility from another species because there's a higher governing species or is it just the fact that there, there is no hostility whatsoever. How can we be sure of that? First question. Everybody who I know who has dealt directly with those beings have told me our own experience, and that is they are completely non-hostile. They have been portrayed as such because how do you unite the world around a military response? You create a false alien threat. This is what Werner von Braun warned about, and we are very much at that point, unfortunately. So I think that calmer minds need to prevail but there is no evidence they are hostile. Now let me make one other point. As I said one time to a general, I won't say who it is, because if they were hostile, and given the galactically foolish things we have done, targeting them, striking them, now these systems that are faster than speed of light, moving out in the space, the technologies they have in a fraction of a second could shut down all those systems and everything else. They have not. Think about Why it. Why have they not done that? Because they are essentially very peaceful, highly organized, socially evolved, psychologically and emotionally evolved civilizations. One other point, common sense. If you possess those sort of weapons and you're still of the consciousness of violence, you're going to blow yourself up uh, or some nearby planet with you. Because we're not talking about, let's forget science fiction. You're not talking about boom, boom with a laser beam, right, or a kinetic missile, or even a thermonuclear missile. You're talking about being able to affect the fabric of space-time. And then if those technologies are weaponized, it's over in a fraction of a second. So the proof I said to one senior military guy that they are not hostile is that you and I are still breathing the free air of Earth. If you know what we've been doing, it's quite clear that this is uh, actually proof that they're not hostile. If you understand what those technologies are and if you understand what covert illegal projects have been doing. Yeah, that gives you something to think about, doesn't it? You know, like that's how I be thinking too. Like if they really wanted to, wouldn't they be able to just, you feel me? Come down here like something off of Dragon Ball Z, like a God of Destruction or something and blow this joint up if they wanted to. But I don't think it's that, though. But that's also why they keep talking about this blue beam, blue beam theory. Because, you know, they, they, man, they just won't control, bro. I mean, let's keep going, though. What y'all think in the comments? I will start, uh, since we have to be brief. I have already given all pertinent information and supporting documentation to the Senate Intelligence Committee and Arrow. They informed me that all of my information will be recorded for public record and shared with Congress. It is that important. Let me just go ahead and say this too. The guy that's been given disclosure, he's been given the green light to speak on these things. Now, we got to think about this. Allegedly, after all the people that's been unalive but behind coming out telling stuff, why is this guy right here so special? And should we trust the information coming from him? Pause. Come, well, whatever, nigga. Like, trust the information coming from him to, you know, like, are y'all believing this? Because I don't know. Should you should you trust them after so much things that we've learned about these situations and what they're already capable of? Should we be amazed by the information he's given us? I don't know. Man, I got a lot of questions. In 2010, I was selected to go down to the South Pole Station in Antarctica for an entire year by Raytheon Polar Services as an employee of a third party contractor for the National Science Foundation. I function in a dual role capacity as a tradesman and a firefighter. My responsibilities required me to be more informed than most of my crew and offered me complete access to the facilities. What I learned from this unique experience needs to be shared with the entire world. 
The technology at the South Pole Station certainly can do what it is presented as its primary purposes, and unfortunately, much more. The IceCube neutrino detector is presented as a passive listening device for the purposes of the science as presented. But I'm going to skip right through the chase, folks. Uh, I have provided documentation that proves that the 5,160, what they call DOMs, that are embedded in the ice can actually transmit at 2,047 volts each. That gives us a long list of things to consider. It is effectively a multifaceted directed energy weapons platform that I will uh, list rapidly a few things that it can do. Vehicle detection. We're learning that these off-world craft, on-world craft, ours or other nations are also emitting neutrinos. So this makes the South Pole Station effectively an air traffic control station for this new level of equipment that nobody's discussing. In addition to the ability to detect neutrinos and the exotic vehicles, I have provided documentation that shows that this is also a system for faster than light communications. In the past, Gary McKinnon has hacked NASA, found the off-world fleet, the list of captains, and it's apparent that if we have faster than light vehicles moving throughout the system, we're gonna need faster than light communications. This is that facility. Unfortunately, I have other bad news. The season that I was there, 2010 to 2011, we converted from uh, construction to operations and maintenance in both the elevated station and the detector array. Unfortunately, when they first fired it up, that was when we had the earthquakes in Christchurch, New Zealand. There was two incidental shots before they were able to target it correctly. This is an earthquake generating device as well. This is the weapons of war that we have to deal with now and what Raytheon's hiding. There's an ELF system at the South Pole Station that when I was arrived, I was told it was off, dismantled, and completely defunct. In my work, I will rapidly just tell you, I had to figure out the circuitry for certain other repairs, and I found that this system is in fact completely energized, up and running, and being utilized with the other systems for nefarious purposes as well. The Atmospheric Research Observatory is uh, in what we call the clean air sector. I witnessed myself a very powerful green laser shooting out of the top of this facility into the cosmos. This, I believe, is a secondary form of long-range communications and or a defense system. I am not saying that we need to be scared of anything that's out there, but please understand the military-industrial complex is happy to invest all of your money in alleviating their fears. <coughs> A question of power comes into play for all of these facilities that are present. I assure you, I knew what was going on, I knew the load demands of the facility, and all of these new items exceed the demand for the systems that I was presented. I am doing due diligence and research. I believe there is either a secondary power supply there that is either nuclear, that uh, was there prior to the start of the Antarctic Treaty, which prohibits such things, and or that there is some sort of exotic uh, power supply system there that just is not in the verbiage of the treaty, so it negates the responsibility to the parties involved. I think that pretty much covers it for time. If anybody, if anybody wants to find out more, I have a website where all this information is at for brevity. I'll wrap it up, but you can go to deciphering.tv. I've documented all of this stuff and information is available. That reminds me of uh, this show called The Man Who Fell to Earth. Y'all remember that? The Man Who Fell to Earth? That's wild. You know what I'm saying? The Man Who Fell to Earth, man, was a crazy series and they, dis they, they, they discontinued it. But it was involving a power source that can help out both planets. What have we been seeing, though? Other celestial bodies out there that we haven't seen before and also you know uh the the, the chemtrails they try, they're trying to cool down the earth stop the solar flares from hitting the earth you see the, is that why the, the 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 trucks are out there in new york city preparing for something like that because what we do know in texas it's a bunch of people with the power out and it is hot in texas like 111 degrees out there but not everybody is meant to you know withstand something like that because it's hot here too so if the, the 
the power went out here, just think, man, if you're in a cold place, you're in a hot place, you'll have to prepare, man. I just want my people to be prepared. Just make sure you're out here doing your own research. But yeah, we got a lot of questions, man. Should we trust this information? I mean, the information that he's talking about, man, we pretty much already know that, right? That didn't have to get explained really too much. I'm just sitting here listening to it like, you know, I'm a little bit, uh, shall I say, underwhelmed. Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below. And do you trust the information? Will you go onto the website and look at the documents yourself? I implore you to do so so you can make up your own mind, your own decisions on the things that you believe. I'm not here to convince you of anything. I'm just here to start the conversation. But look, man, like I always say, spread love because there's too much hate in this world. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next video. And I'm out, though. Live.